What's up, everyone? It's Caddy with MoneyVest. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. There was a report that came out, an article that was talking about how Palantir is poised to once again double in 2024. So that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. I'm going to run through the entire fundamentals of the company. What is it going to take for Palantir to indeed double in price from where it's trading right now to go up uh, over 100%? And then also break down my intrinsic value, my new revised updated intrinsic value as of 2024 for Palantir. As always, if you enjoyed this video, find it helpful. All I'm asking in return is that you drop a like and of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, links to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining and of course, getting access to all the members only private videos. This is all ad free content, educational videos, as well as the intrinsic value spreadsheet, all the fair values on individual stocks, S&P 500 valuations, volatility spreadsheet, as well as over 20 plus Discord channels channels, including all buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas, everything's going to be included uh, with the link down below. would love to have you on board and also do connect with me on Instagram. My handle is going to be CastWRP. I do post a lot of interesting stories, portfolio updates, behind the scenes stuff. So again, link's going to be down below for that as well. So Palantir stock outlook, why Palantir is poised to double again in 2024. So before we jump any further into the discussion on the fundamentals of the company, uh, let's just quickly go over where Palantir is trading right now. And it, of course, has been pulling back. It's been selling off a little bit, but it is trading at just over $16 per share, right? So in order for the Palantir stock to double from its current levels, it would need to go up to over $32 per share, or in other words, from $35 billion to $70 billion, right? That's what the expectation would be in order for Palantir to see a 100% increase. Of course, last year, it was up more than 100% and it had a fantastic 2023. So to very quickly summarize, $1.9 billion is the current revenue. Even if we expect the company can grow revenues by, let's say, 25%, we're looking at 1.9 times 1.25, and we're looking at a revenue number of 2.3, just let's just call it 2.4 billion dollars. So 70 divided by 2.4, we're looking at a 29, almost 30 times sales multiple for Palantir if it goes up another 100% from these levels. And at $2.4 billion, if, even if we account for, let's say, very reasonable 20% uh, margins, we're looking at roughly 2.4. So that's 240 plus another 240. So 480, call it half a billion dollars in profits. So 75 divided by 0 0.5, we're looking at 150 times earnings multiple if Palantir were to double from these levels and considering about $2.4, $2.5 billion of revenue uh, with about $500 million of gap profitability. So that is going to be a very, very, very expensive valuation, needless to say. So once we've gotten this out of the way, now we can actually do some sane and rational and realistic analysis and kind of disregard the possibility. Uh, I mean, of course, there is a possibility, but the probability is low for Palantir to more than double again in 2024, considering the valuation would just be absurd um, at those levels at $70 billion. Again, it would be, be trading at 30 times sales and over 150 times earnings multiple. Again, not saying that it's not possible. It is possible. Anything is possible in the market, but our job is to really understand the probability of certain outcomes versus others. And what is the probability of Palantir doubling in 2024? In my opinion, low. The probability of us to see maybe another modest 20 to 30 percent gain is quite reasonable for Palantir. So this right here is going to be the business update as of third quarter 2023. So they are going to be reporting for the final quarter of 2023 very soon. So earnings season is going to get started here fairly soon towards the end of January and Palantir's scheduled to report on Wednesday, February 14th. So on Valentine's Day is when Palantir is going to be reporting for the fourth quarter 2023. Now, when it comes to uh, the biggest sort of catalyst behind such a strong move for Palantir was one thing, profits. Palantir did a really good job in executing and turning the corner towards profitability in the last three quarters. And this has been the fourth consecutive quarter of gap profitability for the business with a gap EPS of three cents per share. Third consecutive quarter of gap operating profitability, 7% margins up 2,000 basis points. And revenue also grew 17% to over half a billion. U.S. commercial revenue was up 33%. U.S. commercial customers also grew 37%. And adjusted operating margins up 29%. Fourth consecutive quarter of expanding 
adjusted operating margins and cash from operations at $133 million up 24%. That's the margin and free cash flow margin of 25%. So the company definitely moving in the right direction when it comes to profitability and generating some good solid margins with $147 million in gap net income, $36 million in operating income uh, as well. This right here is U.S. commercial acceleration, so 33% growth in commercial revenue year over year, 13% quarter over quarter, uh, and customer count grew 37%, 12% quarter over quarter, uh, and 102 U.S. commercial deals closed in the third quarter, 65% growth quarter over quarter, with a total contract value approaching $252 million, up 55% on a year-over-year -year basis, based on the dollar-weighted duration basis as well. And again, gap net income, four consecutive quarters of profitability, gap operating income also moving in the right direction. So that's been one of the biggest challenge for Palantir is turning the corner towards the actual profitability for the business. And they've been able to execute and do that really well with, again, commercial revenue, government revenue, all moving in the right direction, growing 12, 13, 20, 25% on a year-over-year -year basis. And in the third quarter, closing over 80 deals, at least over a million dollars, and 29 of which over, were over $5 million, and 12 of those deals were at least $10 million or more. And of course, the balance sheet has been one of the best for Palantir. So this notion that Palantir could potentially go bankrupt is flawed because the company has practically no debt with over $3 billion worth of cash sitting on the sidelines. So they definitely do have one of the best balance sheets out there on tech in the tech world on Wall Street. Now, this right here is going to be those earnings per share expectations. So you'll notice that they are expected to go from 25 cents per share in 2023 as a whole. So once they report their numbers for the fourth quarter and for the entire year fiscal 23, the expectations are 25 cents. That's going to be a very strong growth on a year-over-year -year basis and expected to go to as high as 81 cents per share. So if you plug in some of these numbers, so again, 25 cents to as much as 81 cents uh, by the year 2028, we're looking at a growth rate of 26.5% in earnings for Palantir. Now, the number of shares outstanding for the company is also been increasing. So if you come over to statistics, uh, you'll notice that this right here is the shares outstanding on an annual basis. It's been coming down a little bit more recently, but 2 billion is where we are. So 2 billion uh, times 0 0.25, we're looking at $500 million in profitability, give or take, that's going to be that number for uh, for Palantir. So if you plug in 500 million on a trailing 12-month basis and we grow them, you know, on a discounted or sort of basically on a next five-year basis, if you grow them, let's say at 25% and we give them a PE multiple of uh, 24, 25, if you go up to 25 here and we're looking at a 12% discount rate, 10% margin of safety, we arrive at an intrinsic value of just under $9 per share. Of course, right now it's trading at well over 16 dollars per share. So this right here is going to be the sensitivity grid. And look, we can go with slightly higher growth rate considering that it is a business that is accelerating its profitability. Margins are growing, revenue is growing, and it's just turning the corner towards profitability. So let's just go to 30%, 30 times P multiple. Um, and this is about as high as I can possibly go on Palantir when it comes to its intrinsic value, which is going to be just over 13 dollars per share and right now trading at 16 that means another 19 maybe potentially 20 percent downside needed for palantir to be trading at its intrinsic value look it's got lots of potential no doubt with the massive uh, tam with respect to artificial intelligence and everything that it has going for the company so it's got lots of like i said uh, untapped growth potential but in my opinion we still have to be considerate of the valuation of the potential growth we can't apply crazy multiples uh and then of course expect for the stock price to follow we have to apply conservative numbers and then uh, of course go with the highest probability scenario and outcome for our analysis so in that case of course being conservative that i am 25 25 is going to make a lot more sense for me so sub 10 sub 9 dollars are some levels that i would be watching for palantir to basically dollar cost average and to be a little bit more aggressive over the long term but i know i can understand why somebody would want to go with 30 30 and if you do then, of course, the fair value ends up at somewhere between $12 and $13 per share. And right now, of course, the price has been selling off. So from its resistance of highs of $21, $22, it's been dropping pretty aggressively, down over 25%. This right here is the entire gap that it's now coming down to fill in, and the support level is going to stay put at $13.75. So this right here is going to be a very, very important level of support for Palantir, kind of in line with this previous support, once, twice, three times, it kind of validated that level multiple times, and that is going to be that next support, all the way down to eleven seventy five to, of course, all the way down to eight seventy four, eight sixty five. This right here is going to be that level where I would be a lot more excited and interested in dollar cost averaging into Palantir at that support level as well. 
So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And what do you think? Are you interested in Palantir? Are you buying, selling, or holding this stock? What are your thoughts? And uh, again, the price action can be super volatile. It can be super crazy in the short term. But the real question always remains, what are the actual fundamentals of the business? Because that's really what's going to drive the long-term performance of any company. Okay, stock prices can be volatile, they can be aggressive, they can be violent, they can be vol they can just go all over the place in the short term, but long term fundamentals is what really matters at the end of the day for any company and the performance uh, over a longer time period. So 1375 support level and also can be argued at a, as an intrinsic value if you take into account 3030 30 for growth rates and the P multiples, but I would be of course a lot more comfortable at sub 10, sub $9 per share, kind of in line with this green rectangle over here. We'll see if Palantir ends up coming down to that level or not. And always remember that these are not predictions. These are simply levels that we're watching. If it comes down to that level, great. If not, there's plenty of other stocks and opportunities to look for in the market as well. So again, these are not predictions. These are simply levels that I'm watching at, as intrinsic values to dollar cost average into. So as always, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to connect with me on Instagram. Uh, definitely do check out the links down below for Discord as well. And uh, happy investing and I'll see you all in the next video.